Okay, this isn't the video that I had planned for this week, but he's actually doing really, really well. So I wanted to document it and get it to you. So we're just in the backyard, totally fenced in, but we're working off leash. Sometimes the leash can actually cause a lot of confusion for the dog because he's depending on the leash and not using his brain. So you take the leash away and he really has to think about it. So Jake, yo, good boy, yo. Good, I want to stay on that left hand side. Uh uh, heel. Oh, heel. There, good boy. I don't want to be weird if my hand touches him. Heel. He's very sniffy, and we're working on that. I don't want him to sniff. Nope, heel. Or try to go between my legs. Good. Heel. It's almost like he's kind of head shy, like it's, he's weird when things touch him. Good. Jake, sit. Sit. Yes, in that heel position. Good boy. Heel. Good. Jake, sit. Good. Uh-uh. Sit. Good. Adding. Nope. Sit. You were just doing this, buddy. I want to add some distance to the sit. Good. So I'm just a couple steps Ooh. away. No big deal, but that's a, that is a big deal for Jake. He's got to be touching you. He's, like I said in the last video, pretty codependent. Good boy. Okay, okay, go play. Now that we've been working, he's probably not going to go away from me. Huh, buddy? Okay, come here. Good, there you go. Place. Good job. Yes, good boy. So this was the original video, oh, place, that we were gonna do is a place video. So I have place beds inside as well as outside. The dog has to be on the bed. I mean, you know place. We went over it in puppy sessions. So just being on the bed, don't care what he does as long as all four feet are staying on that bed. It's really easy to utilize an elevated bed, which I'm pretty sure you have at home. Um, because the second he steps off, we just correct him back on. So he's doing it really good. We're struggling with going potty in the kennel. Um, and I think that's just because he's been so attached to always having somebody there that, well, and then you went back to work. So I don't know. It could be a lot of different things why he continually pees and poops in the kennel, but we're working on it. We're trying to figure him out. And if he wasn't doing it at home, I don't imagine when he comes home, he will continue to do it. So just kind of giving you a heads up there, but he's actually doing really good obedience wise. And he's having fun making friends, doing stuff with other dogs, big and little. So he's doing pretty good. Good boy, using that brain. The eye contact is a little lackluster. <laughs> oh bud especially off of place, but that's okay. Good boy. Okay, good job, he's doing good.